Hello, and welcome to This Musical Life. Welcome to my office. Um, actually, it's a shared office in the College of Music at the University of Colorado Boulder. Um, this is not my stuff. This is my office mate's stuff. Oh, the coffee's done. Go ahead and grab a cup of coffee and meet me here. Let's talk about some auditioning tips. So here are five travel hacks for the auditioning singer. Number one, figure out which audition city has the cheapest direct flights from your city. Through Delta, I can book a flight direct from Denver to New York for as little as 20,000 points, which is so few points. Yeah, figure out, you know, different airports have different hubs. So Denver is a United hub. So a lot of United flights come through there. I fly Delta because I have those points, but if I didn't, I would probably choose United or Southwest or something like that because Denver has a lot of those flights. One thing you can do is ask people in your area who are also auditioning, ask them which airline they like to use. I love to take the 11.40 a.m. Delta flight from Denver to JFK in New York. It gives me like three, to three and a half hours on the plane to do work or, you know, I just kind of treat it as a work day. So I'll spend like maybe the first couple hours or maybe the first hour doing just work that I need to do because Delta actually has free Wi-Fi on their airplanes, which is a good thing to know. Most of them do. And then the second half I'll save for watching my favorite TV show, watching a movie, and I'll bring some snacks on board. So I kind of love that routine. I usually land around 5.30 p.m. in New York, and then I take the train. It takes about an hour and a half to get into the city. And I go have dinner with a friend and get a good night's sleep, wake up, audition, and come back home sometime in the afternoon the next day. An example of something that I did that did not work out super well, and this will bleed into one of the other points, but I was auditioning in Des Moines, Iowa, and I thought that because it was, you know, not a big city, that it was gonna be cheaper. Oh no, it was so expensive. It was probably the most expensive flight that I took. So just be aware of smaller airports they're probably gonna be more expensive. And I know that we really like to find the cheapest flight available, but I'm just gonna put this out there. If you can avoid a connection, do. Because the way flights are getting delayed and rescheduled and you know airlines and how they're dealing with schedules and rescheduling, it's really chaotic right now. Um, so if you can book a direct flight, I would highly encourage that. Number two, find cities where you know people you can stay with. Free housing, right? If you go in for an audition, you don't have to pay for a hotel. And also it's just kind of nice to hug a friend. You know what I mean? Um, this last time that I went to New York, I stayed with a friend and was able to just chat with her about some opera things and um, I got to see another friend right before that and it just made me feel very warm and supported to be connected in that way. So not only does it help save you money, but also it can make you feel a little more at ease being in a different city. Number three, find cities you can potentially fly in and out of the same day. This is only for people that can do that. Um, some people really just need a good night's sleep before they audition. I've done it a few times and it has worked out in certain circumstances, but it can be super nice not having to interrupt your work week. You know, if you can fly somewhere close by and if they have flight times that get you there where you don't have to wake up too early, they get you there by the time of your audition and then you can get home later that night. It's just really nice not to have to take a couple days off. One thing to note, you're gonna feel really dry and dehydrated after flying. So just have a plan in place for you to be able to stretch, warm up, hydrate, you know, get yourself ready for an audition in that circumstance because it is really hard to just get off a plane and go sing. The other great thing about flying in and out the same day is if you're booking a cheaper flight, like 
um, spirit or frontier that doesn't let you take more than a backpack, you can just put everything in a backpack and you're, you'll be fine. Like you don't need any overnight stuff. So that could be pretty nice. Number four, take uh, transportation costs into consideration. We always think about the airline, the, the airplane flight being expensive and it is, but it can also be really expensive Ubering and taking trains if you don't know what you're doing. So maybe just research ahead of time how far the airport is from the audition location that you're gonna be at because I've definitely been in a situation where I spent way too much money on an Uber. I didn't know that they didn't have public transit. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Again, I'm gonna use the example of Des Moines, Iowa, but I was counting on an Uber and I showed up and there were none. No Ubers, no Lyfts, no ride shares. I don't know if it was just the time of day or like the time of year, but I could not find a ride to the audition location, even though it was only 15 minutes away. But I didn't know anyone in the city and I didn't know what else to do. There was no public transit. So I ended up having to rent a car for a day for an afternoon. It was like $50, which isn't too bad, but still way more than I want to pay in that situation. So just kind of be aware that you will have to find transportation to and from the audition location. Tip number five, be aware of major holidays around when you're auditioning and traveling. Auditions around Thanksgiving or Christmas can be more expensive in terms of flying because they hike those prices up. So there are a lot of auditions that happen around Thanksgiving. Um, I've got one coming up and the flights, like the difference in price from the week before to that week of Thanksgiving is large. So I would suggest just um, trying not to plan a trip around a holiday but if you have to, just plan in advance because um, it's not going to be the same price as if you were booking any other time of the year. I hope everyone's doing well and I hope that you are staying healthy and safe and full during this audition season. Um, the link to my blog post about this topic is below. You can go check that out and please subscribe if you enjoy this content and like the video. And I will see you next Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.